Welcome to part two of this series where I demonstrate the capabilities of the combination between the Canon 90D and the EFS 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. In the first part of the series, I took this camera and lens combination up to Inn of Coolbrith Park on a really nice day and got some pretty good results because it was bright and sunny outside. I shot everything in 4K at 24 frames per second, everything in auto settings. I basically just turned the dial on the top of the camera to P mode and shot all of my video footage and photographs in uh, you know, autofocus, everything. Uh, basically everything is in the most basic settings. The stabilizer is turned on and I turned the digital stabilization to enabled. And of course for the low light test I did the same thing. I shot everything in auto settings, stabilizer is turned on. I didn't add a mic so all the audio that you hear or that you will hear straight out of the camera. And so after the vlog portion I'll give my concluding thoughts about the combination of this camera and lens in low light settings. I still don't feel entirely woken up from my nap. <laughs> This right here is one of my favorite shots, but I always have to wait for it because I have to wait for the cars to uh, drive by. It only works when there's no cars in the, on the street. <laughs> Maybe I should get out of the street before I get ran over. I'll just sit and wait for all the cars to clear off of the street before I get the shot that I want. The great thing about the city being locked down is that a Saturday night is just like any other night of the week where I don't have to deal with a bunch of drunk, obnoxious people. Just the occasional stray car driving by.
nothing beats a good nighttime water reflection shot. Or walk down Pier 7. What do you want, birds? I think I'll back up a little bit more to get this one. I want to get a little bit more road in the shot. So just like most other zoom lenses and just about every kit lens, this lens doesn't open up very wide. It's f4 to 5.6. So there's definitely some noticeable grain in both the video and the photographs, which I guess if you're vlogging isn't a big deal. And if you're just a photography hobbyist, it might not be a big deal. But if you're going to be doing some serious nighttime photography and you don't want to break the bank, I would suggest picking up one of these. Uh, EF 50 millimeter kit or not sorry uh, prime lenses this this one is not a kit lens this is a kit lens uh, this 50 millimeter lens is the prime lens and uh, this one opens up to f 1.8 and it's one of the more popular Canon lenses because it's it's one of the few lenses that you can get that's this wide at this price point I believe you get it for $125 or something like that but if you're going to be doing any vlogging or video work or photography work that requires a wider angle and a wider aperture, I would suggest something like the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter art lens. I've never personally tried it, but that one opens up to f 1.8, so I'm sure you can get some decent low light results with that. For me personally, this kit lens is good enough, even in low light. For me, I don't care that much about the grain. In fact, I mean, as you can see, if you use some of the noise reduction and Adobe Lightroom, you can get some decent results. And of course, the main appeal to this lens is that compared to most other lenses, it's pretty cheap and pretty versatile. So it's something that you can just throw onto your camera and walk around town with and get many different looks with without having to constantly switch out lenses. So anyway, I hope this was insightful. And um, yeah, that's it.